All right, so this is going to be a random item review of this Nong Shim. All right, this is a gourmet spicy ramyun noodles with seasoning mix. All right, I've never had it in this type of bowl before. Usually it's a paper bowl, so I don't know if it's going to be any different, but let's take a look. It has cooking instructions. You can do with water and then microwave it for three minutes. All right, and depending how you how soft or chewy you want the noodles, three minutes, three and a half, or four minutes. Okay, microwave, completely remove a lid, add soup base, pour room temperature water up to the water line, uh, about one and a half cups or 370 milliliters, microwave for three minutes, stir well and serve. Cooking time may vary depending on microwave watts, product's very hot. Okay, so be careful, don't spill it on yourself. All right, here are the, oh wait, here are the other cooking instructions. You can use hot water and then close that for three minutes. Open lid halfway, add soup base, pour hot water up to the water line, 370 milliliters or about one and a half cups. Close lid for three minutes, stir well and enjoy. All right, serve. All right, anyways, nutrition facts, 80 calories, serving sizes, one bowl, 86 grams, 14 grams of fat, 18%, 7 grams saturated fat, 35%, uh, 1,680 uh, milligrams of sodium, 73%, carbs, 57 grams, 21%, fiber, 3 grams, 11% sugar, 3 grams, which includes 1 gram of added sugars, 2%, 7 grams of protein. You got calcium, 20 milligrams, 2%, 2.1 milligrams of iron, 10%, and 260 milligrams of potassium, 6%. Ingredients are enriched wheat flour, which is wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine, mononitrate, riboflavin, and folic acid. Then there's palm oil, potato starch, salt, modified potato starch, maltodextrin, uh, dried flakes, which are mushroom, carrot, green onion, red, and red chili pepper. Contains less than 2% of anchovy extract, beef bone extract, beef extract, beef fat, black pepper, citric acid, corn syrup, defatted soy flour. No, wait, is that right? Defatted <laughs> soy flour. Dextrose, disodium guanulate, disodium inosinate, disodium cysinate, garlic, ginger, green onion extract, gum arabic, hydrolyzed corn protein, hydrolyzed soy protein, hydrolyzed wheat protein, modified tapioca starch, mushroom extract, mushroom, natural flavors uh, from sesame, onion, potassium carbonate, uh, radish extract, red chili pepper, riboflavin for color, uh, sodium carbonate, sodium phosphate, soy lecithin, soybean sp Soybean sprout extract, sugar, tocopherols, um, an antioxidant, wheat starch, yeast extract, and yellow corn flour. All right. The things with the little cross looking thing are powdered ingredients, and then it contains wheat, anchovy, sesame, and soy. If you're allergic to any of those, then yeah, be careful. And there's their distributed by their address and their website. Manufactured in a facility that also processes crustaceans, shellfish, eggs, peanuts, milk, and tree nuts. So if you're deathly allergic, be careful. There's the UPC code. Let's go ahead and see about opening this thing up. I think we looked at everything already on the packaging. Okay, so this packaging is not easy to open. I don't know if they have a easy... Oh, oh actually, there you go, from the bottom. Okay, pull that open. And as you can see, they have this more traditional looking top label. All right, completely remove lid. So they give you the microwave instructions and the hot water instructions. And then they also have it in French for some reason. I don't know why they chose French of all languages. Maybe this came from Canada. But uh, there you go, microwavable, BPA free. I'm going to use the hot water method. Um, we're going to peel it open to this brown line here. So it has this tab. Peel this open it what in the world why is this there we go okay that lid was sealed on really tight there okay so this looks like the usual packet i don't know if there's multiple i only see one it's stuck in there okay so i only see one i guess the flakes of vegetables and stuff are already in there so i'm gonna shake this up to move the powder to the bottom of the packet we'll tear this open and then let's pour it in. Okay. Get that spicy hot powder yumminess in there. Okay. And I like to shake it around to flatten it out. And I'm going to get some hot water. And I'm going to pour it in all the way to that. I'm assuming it's that line. Oh, there you go. So it says right there, water line. It's. I don't know why they wrote it backwards, but on the outside you can see there. 
water line. Usually it's on the inside. All right, I'm going to put hot water. I'll be back. All right, here's what it looks like with the hot water in it. We're going to leave it closed. It says to let it sit for three minutes, and we'll be back. See you guys in three minutes. All right, so let's take a look. Let's peel off the cover now. Basically three minutes or so, maybe a little bit longer. Stir this around. And let's give it a try. I used a hot water dispenser, not like a um, boiling kettle thing, so it's not quite boiling hot. So it does cook a little slower that way. I don't know if you can tell, but the noodles are still al dente. Let's give it a try. Let's see if it tastes the same as the other kinds. Pretty much the same as the other Nong Shims. Um, the noodles are still a little undercooked, so maybe I should have used like more hot boiling water. But yeah, pretty much the same. Tastes good. These are one of my favorite um, instant noodles or top ramen, whatever you want to call it. The kind that you cook on a stove, stove top ramen kind of things. So yeah, I like the the red version actually a bit more than the black one. Even though I think the black one costs more because I think they put bone broth powder. But I don't know, I like the, I like the red one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Give it a try and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.